if you are joining for the first time please remember to click subscription button and hit that notification bell to be the first person to receive the video that will be produced by devtech media devtech media updating you devtech media subscribe to devtech media today tonight i am quite excited um, i'm very happy that um, we successfully filed in uh, our nomination. Uh, thank you very much to Economic and Equity Party members and um, uh, other supporters that came to support us to file the, the nominations. Uh, thank you very, very much. Um, now the campaign has started. So I will be sitting down, you know, to work out what we need. Uh, I'm taking this very seriously and we will try our level best to make sure that we win this election. I think, he, I think we are winning this election. I really think we are winning this election. I know my brothers and sisters in PF, they, are, they, will, come with, they will come gun blazing. I don't think they would want me to win this uh, election. I saw how they came uh, when they escorted uh, my sister Chilando. But um, I am putting up a, a good fight. I will put a very good fight uh, for this. And I will win this election. This one, this one is mine. This one is mine. And I thank God that uh, he made things work out in this manner you know sometimes uh, like they say uh, out of something bad comes out something good uh frankly speaking if i had not gone in my sales i don't think i would have congrat i would have um, i would have uh, uh contested the mayoral seat if uh, i was not thrown in the cells i was not going to contest the mayoral uh, seat but uh, when I was thrown in there I had a very good reflection and um, I decided I will run for this I know some people are even saying uh, but you endorsed uh, Chilando Chitangala how come you have changed well it's just uh, that um, uh, my friends my friends uh, in PF, uh, uh, you know, could not uh, honor up uh, part of uh, the negotiations that was 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 going going on. Anyway, so yes, um, the first point that I want to give is that yes, we are filed in, we are filed in successfully. We'll be on the ballot. We'll be number seven. So those of you when, you, when you go for voting, when the ballots will come, you just have to go for the last name. Then my name is the last one on the list. It will be the last one on the ballot because the um, uh, uh, ECZ, they follow alphabetical order. So Chilando uh, Chitangala starting with C, she's on top there. My last name being Tayali, uh, it is at the bottom there. There are seven candidates. Seven candidates have filed in for the position of uh, mayor in Lusaka City. And uh, among those seven, uh, when you get the ballot, you will have Shirando Chitangala on top. And below, just at the bottom there, you will have uh, Tayali Chilufia. And the symbol is the lamb. The symbol is the lamb. It looks like a, a sheep. We have chosen the lamb because the lamb is self-sacrificing. A lamb is peaceful. A lamb is uh, um, uh, a humble. And that is the kind of attitude that I want to take in my leadership. I want to sacrifice myself. I want to give to serve people. I don't want to put myself uh, first. I want to put the people first to make sure that i deliver to the expectations of the people uh, that is uh, the first thing i also want to make sure that you know i am 
peaceful. I even this campaign, I don't want to engage in any sort of violence or abuse. I don't want to to be part of that. I don't want to be part of that. Then I want to be humble. I want to be humble. I want to be available to people. I really want to be available to people. And uh, one of the things that I will do as a mayor is to have uh, uh, one day in a week, in the afternoon, in the afternoon where I will just be seeing people. We will pick one day every week, every week, one day it will just be for people, anyone to come and talk to, to me. My phone number will not be a secret. From now onwards, my phone number will be public. I will share my phone number. And even when I will be mayor, I will make my, my phone number readily available because I want to really be with the people. I want to listen uh, from people. The other thing that I want to, to do in that regard is... Um, you know to create uh, 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 community committees community com committees some kind of neighborhood watch some kind of neighborhood watch but we will call them like community committees uh, that is something that we we uh, intend to do uh, with your support with the support of uh, all the councillors that will come with the support of the city council um, Lusaka city council workers I'm sure we can be able to do this within the five years that I'll be there. I'm sure we'll be able to do this. I'll be giving you a number of things that uh, I intend uh, to do together with, you know, the other councillors as well as uh, uh, the Lusaka City Council uh, workers. I really have quite a lot. I really qu have quite a lot. And um, I can assure you that you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed with the, uh, the things that I will be able to do. But I can promise you that I will try to be there for you to save you people. I will try to be, uh, you know, uh, humble, readily available for you. And I will try as much as possible to be peaceful. The issue of chasing vendors in the streets, beating them up, you know, bundling them up, getting their little merchandise, that is growing. As Shilifatayali comes in as mayor, that issue of running around with the vendors, chasing them, getting their little merchandise, that is growing. That is definitely going. That is the first thing. I would rather resign if he uh, the job of, if, if as a mayor I fail to protect the poor people, I would rather resign. I will resign the day that I will have people being chased with their little merchandise. I will definitely resign. We have to find a solution, a good solution for that matter, not what has been happening. People are being dehumanized. People are being deprived of their little that they have. So that will, will, will stop. So anyway, most of these things, I will talk about this as we go on with the campaigns. I'm organizing myself, trying to see what we need. Uh, I am making an appeal to, uh, to, to some of you who may, who may be willing to help us. Please uh, help us with resources. Help us in any way that you can. Um, some people have already volunteering to be part of the campaign team. I'm writing your names. I will, soon call, I will soon call you for a meeting so that we can sit together and uh, see how we are going to, uh, to handle this campaign. We have to do a good job and we have to win this, um, this election. It is not uh, the kind of situation that, like the desperate situation that I'm seeing, you know, from other circles. No, no, no. We just have to do the right thing and let the people accept us, not to, not to fight or something like that. So, yeah. Anyway, now, let me get, let me get to the issue that uh, I want to discuss. Um, the other issue that I want to talk about, 
to tonight it's the issue of um cr1 a, a number of people today have been calling me after cr1's uh, uh broadcast last night where he said a number of things um i mean some of the things good things about me i want to say thank you very much uh uh cr1 for you know your kind words and um, the things that you said thank you of course you didn't say everything positive certain things are, are negative and i i want to accept that uh now the main issue that was that has been coming out is uh, that um, uh, why don't you just join uh upnd why don't you just join upnd a number of people are asking me join upnd now, my response to this uh, situation is this, that, uh, you know, we are so polarized. This country is so polarized, whereby we just think of PF and UPND. This is what you think about. This is what we think about. It's like we just want to have two teams. And whoever comes out prominent, our desire is to have that person either be part of PF or be part of UPND. I think uh, this mentality, this tendency, we need to move away from it because it is not helping our country. I was also of the same mentality, of the same attitude. You know, I was thinking, you know, I, 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 my political party is very small. Economic and equity party is small political party. Uh, though I have tried as much as possible to maintain uh, you know, being economic and equity party, but I was swallowed in PF. I was swallowed in PF because there is this mentality that you have to belong to either PF or UPND. This is not good for our democracy. This is not good for our country because you can't just have two, uh, two, 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 two political parties competing. You need to have other choices as well. I was part of PF. I was inclined to PF. And me being inclined to PF robbed the Zambian people an opportunity for me to offer checks and balances to the PF. It, it robbed them because I, I, I couldn't criticize the PF. I couldn't criticize the PF. I would see a number of things, but... I would hold back. Yes, you know, time and again, I would come out and, you know, speak out whereby I feel like, no, no, this is too much. Most of the times when I spoke against the PF, it's because I feel, no, this is too much. This is getting out of hand. That is when I would speak. But certain things I would just ignore. But that is not good. That is not good for, 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 for the nation. We need political parties, politicians that offer, can offer checks and balances on the ruling party. I, I somehow, somehow, I don't know how it happened, but I am detached from PF now. Believe me, I am detached from PF. What I went through, it was a moment of change. It was a moment of change. I felt... No, no, this is, this is whatever. But for whatever reason, for whatever reason that I was locked up, I think it has brought me to my senses to realize that, no, I need to stand alone. I need to be that voice for the Zambian people instead of being swallowed up in PF. So that... I have moved. I have really moved. I am standing on my own. Whatever challenges that I'm going to have, I know I'm going to have challenges here and there, but I will remain I will remain as economic and equity party. I will remain to offer checks and balances objectively. I'm not going to insult anyone. I'm not going to insult anyone. I'm not going to be biased. I will just say things the way I see them. Now, that being the case, since I'm sort of like here, I've moved away from PF now, a lot of people now are pulling me to go into UPND. I don't think also that is a good decision. I don't think that would be a wise move. I don't think that would be a wise move. 
I shouldn't go to UPND. Some of them were even saying no, because UPND is winning this election. I think this kind of, this tendency of just because a political party seems to be uh, gaining popularity and almost winning the election, then we should all troop there. I don't think that is a very good, uh, uh, a very good thing to, to, to be doing in a plural democracy. If UPND has got support and it is going to win this election, fair enough. Fair enough. Let them win the elections. I wish them all the best. But I want to stand that, that political party or that person that will offer checks and balances to the UPND. So I'm in a position whereby I want to be a true political leader with a voice to speak for the Zambian people, irrespective of which political party is in government. If PF wins, I can rest assure you, I will continue, I will be giving them checks and balances, I will not allow myself to be under them like I was, I will not do that. I will stand aside and offer those checks and balances. If UPND wins, the same thing, I will stand where I am as economic and equity party leader and offer checks and balances. So I really think that um, I shouldn't align myself with either PF or UPND. I don't want to align myself with either PF or UPND. I want to remain economic and equity party leader. And at this point in time, I have decided to contest uh, the position of mayor. I will continue offering checks and balances as opposition to whoever will be in government. Meanwhile, I will also be saving the people of Lusaka as a mayor. As a mayor. I think this, this is a good position that uh, I have taken. And I think it will work out, it will work out pretty good. It will work out pretty good. Even if I don't succeed to be a mayor, um, I'll continue as the Economic and Equity Party. I refuse, I refuse to align myself with either PF or UPND. I want to be on my own with Economic and Equity Party, small as it may be, with all the challenges that it has, I will uh, stay there. This is how I've planned it. So I thank you, those of you who are calling me, who are giving me this advice. I thank you for making that effort to call me. But please understand me that at this point in time, I think it is better I provide that neutrality, that objectivity, without aligning myself to uh, either PF or UPND. That is the decision that I've made, and this is what I, I, I intend to, to stick by, uh, going into this election and afterwards. So, I am asking you to vote for me. Vote for me as a mayor. Vote for me as a mayor. But please don't give me conditions. Don't give me conditions to say, no, no, no. If I ask to vote for you, you must support, uh, you must support Haka Inde Ichirema. You must support Edgar Lungu. Uh-uh. 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 At this point in time, I'm neither endorsing President Edgar Lungu, nor am I endorsing Haka Inde Ichirema. I am not doing that. I am not doing that. And this is their contest. This is their contest with due respect to all other political leaders that have filed in their presidential uh, bids. It is, it, it, is, it is their battle. It is their battle. It is not my battle. For me, I will sit by and wait for whoever will win. Meanwhile, I will earn a living as a mayor and offer checks and balances to whoever will be in state house. I think it is, it is, you might think that you, uh, you are losing out. But no, you are not losing out. Because instead of me attacking either PF, you know, attacking PF, I will not attack PF. I will not attack PF. My brothers and sisters, some of you in PF, you know, you have clinched your fists to punch me. Uh-uh. 
relax guys relax relax even even some of you who i i dealt with you know in secret in confidence relax i am not here for a fight i am not fighting anyone please bear with me issues of fighting i am not interested so i'm not going to fight pf i'm not going to shoot in your direction no i'm not going to shoot in your direction in this time of campaign i'll let you do your campaign i'll let you you know if you if president edgar lungu will succeed in this election fair enough afterwards i will be there to offer checks and balances in a manner that is that is that is that uh, that gives respect to our politics that gives respect to our leaders i'll just be that uh, that patriotic person if it is upnd that wins fair enough and i'm i'm promising you haka in the upnd i'm not shooting in your direction i am not going to shoot in your direction during this time of campaign during this time of campaign because now we are campaigning now we are campaigning there is no government the government is there yes but it, really there is no government per se you know it is just there according to the law but really pf is not in power now pf is not in power because all positions are up for grabs so at this point in time i am not going to shoot at either pf i'm not going to shoot at either haka inde ichirema i'm not going to do that yes i will express my opinion here and there but not really uh, in the manner that i used to do i used to do it so please bear with me i'm not going to i'm not in for this fight no no my concentration will be to win the mayor of seat that is my concentration after the elections if i win as mayor i will continue saving the, the, the lusaka people and uh, offering checks and balances as a leader of economic and equity party this is this is my plan so please those of you who have heard me tell others that tayali is not going to stand against either pf or upnd i'm not going to do that neither am i going to endorse when you go for voting vote for the candidate of your choice if you want vote for for haka in the but when it comes to mayor especially when you those of you who are in lusaka vote for chunfa tayari so you can vote for haka in the when it comes to mayor vote for chunfa tayari that's it if you want a uh, uh, edgar lungu vote for edgar lungu but for mayor vote for chunfa tayari because chunfa tayari will 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 give you that neutral voice will give you that objective voice to whichever political party that will be in power so see one what you said uh, that haka in the should reach out to me and so on and so forth um i don't think it is something that uh, i want at this point in time uh, it is not something that i would i want at this point in time i can actually say a lot of things you know around that but whatever whatever had happened is water under the bridge whatever pf did to me it's water under the bridge i have moved on whatever i couldn't get or whatever misunderstanding i've had with the upnd i'm not going to discuss that i will also just leave that let it let it go but remain a neutral a neutral person all i'm doing is my appeal to you is please support me as a mayor support me as a mayor and i will save the people of lusaka and i will have a platform where i can offer those uh, checks and balances that you actually appreciate this is what i wanted to present uh, this evening i don't want to uh, to talk a lot i think he uh, i've addressed the issues that uh, i wanted to bring out basically at the moment now i am organizing myself what do i need 
what do I need? How many people do I need? And so on and so forth. Uh, if it's money, how much money do I need for fuel and things like that? Uh, I should be able to present that budget uh, probably after tomorrow when we, we meet with other people. I'll present the budget and I'll come, I'll be, I'm appealing for you to, to support me. Don't give me conditions, Nami Papat. I'm pleading with you, please don't give me conditions. Just vote for me and allow me to be economic and equity party. Whether you are PF, whether you are UPND, whether you are neutral, please just vote for me. Allow me to stand on my own and grow economic and equity party. Thank you very much. If you are joining me for the first time, please remember to click subscription button and hit that notification bell to be the first person to receive the video that will be produced by DevTech Media. DevTech Media, updating you. DevTech Media, subscribe to DevTech Media. DevTech Media, subscribe to DevTech Media.